Hi everybody, Patrick here from EscapeRoomElectronics.com. Today I'm going to show you one of our new props. It's a variation of the bookcase prop uh, where you can use either micro switches or reed switches to deactivate an electromagnetic lock. So let's talk about the hardware and I'll give some demonstrations. Got five, excuse me, reed switch modules that are on uh, 0.75 meter extension cables. Same with the micro switches. We've got five uh, normally open micro switches. I can make it so that some are normally closed and some are normally open, but I'll get to that later. Um, five magnets, mounting hardware for the mag lock, mag lock bracket, main controller board uh, connected to the mag lock itself, and a 12 volt 2 amp adapter. So what we have here is that on the main board are five uh, header cables, and this will also come with some jumpers, allowing you for you to use up to five micro switches or up to five reed switches to deactivate the magnetic lock. So first of all, let's look at the micro switches. For this demonstration, I'm going to short four of the five headers just so that I can rely on only one reed switch connector to deactivate the uh, electromagnetic lock. This is just easier for the sake of demonstration purposes. You can remove these jumpers and use up to five. So I've got my micro, my reed switch, sorry, on a long extension cable back to the main board plugged in right here, and I'll zoom in on the reed switch just for a quick moment. So the nice thing about the reed switch is they're, they're as long as you use a reed switch properly, they're very, uh, they're very reliable. Uh, what I found with most reed switches is if you have a magnet like this, in order to activate it, you don't want to have it directly in parallel with it. You have better luck if you aim it from the sides. And I'll show you that in just a second because we'll be able to look at the electromagnetic lock being deactivated. So now I'm going to plug in the prop. So the reed switch is right here, and I'll plug in the controller. Reed switch, yeah, or sorry, the uh, mag lock is activated very strong. And uh, what I'll do is I will come in from the side, deactivated, continually deactivated, and then deact or activated again. Deactivated, activated. Deactivated, activated. So it's very simple. So now if I remove any of these jumpers and I add in another reed switch, I will have to uh, activate two of them, or three of them, or four, or five. Now for the sake of demonstration, I'll just plug in one more and uh, activate both at once to, de to deactivate the mag lock. So I've got one taped down, I've got the other one floating. I will place the first one to the uh, right side of the first mag lock, or first reed switch, and then the second. You can hear the relay clicking on and off. Listen for it. You hear that click? Now, so this the mag lock isn't lined up again, so it would it's not making the noise, but you can actually hear the relay click. Now that it's lined up, uh, I will deactivate it once more. But again, if I were if I remove this magnet, nothing happens. I need to have both magnets lined up properly to deactivate. So there we have that. Now let's look at the micro switch aspect of this. Okay, looks like a jumble of wire, but it's again each uh, reed switch or each micro switch module is just uh, tied together neatly, and they're so close together, it just looks like a jumble of wires. But they're each plugged in back to the board. I'm using all five. So what I can do is I can make it so that some are wired so that they need to be pushed, and I can, or I could wire it so that some need to remain open. You just have to let me know how like you'd like to customize it. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to pretend like these are mounted. I'm going to put them all in my hand really close together and I'm going to deactivate the mag lock by pressing them all at once. It's obviously not plugged in, so I have to do that right now. Now that all of them are plugged in, pressing a couple of them doesn't do anything. I have to make sure all five are pressed. And when I let go, all five. And again, I can customize this so that, say you wanted these three to be pressed, but these two need to remain open. I can customize however you'd like. It's all about how the water wires are soldered to the bottom of the switches. So for this prop, you get the five reed switches uh, with cables, five micro switches with cables that can be extended at your end if you'd like, 12 volt, two amp adapter, several jumpers, uh, mag lock, mag lock, mounting hardware, and a, uh, a mounting bracket. So if you have any questions, please feel free to check us out at escaperoomelectronics.com. We have lots of new stuff coming up, so thanks for your time, and uh, I hope you'll come out and visit. Thanks again.